Hello Taurus, Gemini friends, and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden for your weekly reading. Thank you so much for the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It really does help to keep the channel going, and I do appreciate you spending time here. Everything else you need to know about this session is listed down below in the description box. That includes astrological energies for today, the rest of this month, as well as who this reading may resonate with, and a link to the cross-watching channel. This Wednesday, I will be doing readings from the perspective of the other person you might be dealing with. Okay, also, um, today's like almost like a little bit of a special edition for this week because uh, we have the energy of Saturn sextile Chiron there's going to be three occurrences of this this is the first one the second one will occur June 24th and the third one will occur on November 26th all right we also have Sun Chiron semi square today uh, the the takeaway I got from Saturn sextile Chiron is it's gonna it's gonna speak to our core wounding and it could be challenging. It could also, you know, ask us to work hard, to, you know, keep our heads down, to work hard, to remain humble and realistic. But if we do so, we probably will reach our aims, especially when it comes to addressing and healing core wounding of some sort, okay? All right, let's go ahead and move into this reading. Uh, let's see, what is the overall messages? Overall messages for our Taurus. Let me just, I'm gonna swing around a little bit. <laughs> Overall messages for our um, Taurus Gemini friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond. I don't want to take all those. Messages for Taurus Gemini friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond. We'll try one more time, I guess, and if we don't get any jumpers, I'll just pull off the top, but any messages that want to come out for Taurus Gemini, especially for the next seven days. All right, we'll pull two off the top then, and let's go ahead and see what we have here. Let's pull something from the bottom of the deck real quick to see what's the overall energy. Overall energy, I did see this. It wanted to come out, but I wasn't sure if it was going to come out. This is the heart card energy. So with the heart card energy, I feel like here, either this could have something to do. I, I feel like for some of you, you could actually, sorry. Uh, you could actually have something to do with the heart, could actually be a health condition having to do with the heart, or you could be having palpitations of the heart. Uh, here we have uh, uh, getting health because we have the tree card energy that also came out. Now in the Lenormand deck, the tree card, this is about, it is about your physical health, can also be about the health of, you know, your connections, the health of your family or of your legacy. Uh, let me just make sure I didn't totally correct this. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, here, I feel like this might be talking about your health, especially if it has something to do with the heart. Now, for some of you, you could just have, it could be something like you could have high blood, blood, uh, like high tension, okay? I'm <laughs> sorry. You could have um, high stress levels, high cholesterol. You could have high blood pressure. That's what I was looking for, high blood pressure, okay? But for some of you, you might be be concerned more. You might have to change your diet. You might have to, you might have to make adjustments. I feel like this might be a little upsetting though, because I feel like for some of you, Taurus, Gemini, for some of you, you might use food as a comfort. So when you, if you don't get the certain types of foods that you love, I feel like it actually makes you kind of grumpy, <laughs> to be honest with you. I feel like for some of you, I think it's because you're not allowed to eat cheese anymore, or you might have, you might have had to cut out dairy, but especially I feel like for some of you, you're like, you're kind of pissed because you can't eat your cheese, <laughs> your cheese snacks or something like that. I'm sorry. Um, I think you're also trying to keep good spirits about it. That's why I feel like a jokey energy kind of coming through. You're like, yeah, you know like um have a heart knee what up bump bump <laughs> okay i don't know but i do kind of feel like please take it seriously i also feel like for some of you for whatever reason you know the water coming down it also kind of looks like salt to me so please make sure you're not getting dehydrated make sure you're drinking enough water and then also uh maybe you do need to cut out the salt my friend i don't know if someone's been getting on you about it you're like me i don't need it for my tarot reader as well but i just totally get the sense that yeah you're your diet needs to consist of leafy leafy greens and i'm getting like broccoli i'm getting like i don't know whatever whatever is being suggested to you maybe also with broccoli maybe you are lacking fiber also i don't know all right um also with this tree card energy i feel like 
you this is important though Taurus Gemini and not just for your own health because you're awesome okay the world is not would not be better without you you have an incredible mind the things that you you bring into manifestation the things that you bring into this world are out of this world sometimes okay and very necessary and you know it's almost like you just received the blueprints but I feel like in this case this is something where it's like you have to demonstrate that same level of tenacity that same level of being indomitable in terms of making this lifestyle change happen and I feel like it's not just dependent for you I feel like it's actually dependent for some reason I get for the next generation okay so either you have children and you have to remember that the practices that you that you demonstrate what you teach your children now in terms of taking care of their bodies in terms of what they allow into their bodies in terms of who they allow around them is going to influence and impact them for the rest of their lives you can set them up with uh, healthy or with balanced habits that give them a better chance of success and nothing will guarantee their success but you can give them a better chance or you know you can continue to I'm sorry, Taurus Gemini, but I feel like, or you can continue to say, I'm a grown person, I do what I want, I eat what I want, you know, whatever, but then it's like, look at the, it's not only taxing your body, it's also, it's also affecting those kids because they're learning those same habits, that same attitude towards their own health, okay? On, and I'm not talking about being fat, okay? You can be fat and you can be healthy. I'm talking about health. I'm talking about, you know, when your blood pressure is high, when your stress levels are high, when you're getting heart palpitations or having panic attacks, okay? None of those things are none of those things are particularly healthy or pleasant, okay? Um, also here I get the sense some of you might be trying to have children. Uh, if you're trying to get pregnant or if you're trying to conceive, even if, especially, you know, if you're the, especially if you're going to be the mother, if you're going to be the carrier of the child, obviously your diet is very important. It probably is not that hard to convince you of that. But I do feel like there is something that could be, I don't know if there's anything that affects like I, I don't I don't think there's any scientific evidence that'll say um but maybe there is something like you could eat that helps to helps with the sperm count or helps with something to do with um helps with something to do with conception or maybe there is a food or something that or something you're ingesting could even be like some sort of could be like an additive could be like could be something like you know like something in the food not necessarily like oh you need to go vegan you know but like more like maybe there's an additive or something that you're not aware of in one of your favorite foods that could be also something in dairy specifically because i'm getting cheese like a motherfucker okay <laughs> sorry um but i feel like that might actually help you in in getting your body I don't know how that would help the 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 father but it might i i am getting something that it is it, maybe it is because maybe like blood pressure or hypertension or things like that maybe that actually can affect your sexual you know your not only your sexual performance but maybe also your pre reproductive something okay so i don't know you'll have to look that up but ultimately here i feel like it's like, don't just do it for you, Taurus Gemini. It's like, you got to do it for the future generation, okay? For, for the future, for your fam future family. Because I feel like many of you actually, like, for as many of you are like, no, I'm just going to be on top of my, you know, on top of my, cor I'm going to be a corporate boss. I'm not going to be a parent or whatever. I feel like many of you with that Taurus energy that's part of your astrological DNA, you absolutely want to have children. You absolutely want to teach your children, you know, all of the cool shit that you've discovered over these years, okay? It would be a shame for all of that knowledge and for all of that, all of that knowledge and all those stories, those, those grand stories to go to waste. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and see here. We have, um, we did pull some other cards. So we also have Psyche. So with the Psyche, yeah, I feel like this is something you are, it's something you almost have to like de reprogram yourself is what I'm getting. I feel like you, you've always had maybe a certain attitude. I feel like for some of you, you may have always had a certain attitude about people and their diet, finicky diet, dietary habits. All right. Uh, I don't know who is the, I don't know who's the, the, um, the comedian that said this. I don't know if it was maybe, um, uh, I don't know. They're basically talking about food allergy. It could be George Carlton, uh, Car uh, George Carlton Carlson. What? Oh my 
god. What am I... Hold on. George Carlin. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Okay. Um, could be George Carlin, but they were talking about how... Uh, food allergies and how like if if everything if that, that's basically like the sign like nature's trying to kill you like if everything's trying to kill you like if your diet is trying to kill you then maybe you weren't you weren't meant to like make it past like <laughs> like birth or something okay I'm sorry, that's not funny. I mean, sorry to those that have food allergies, but the reason I'm laughing is because I feel like Taurus Gemini, you may have actually been someone who had that attitude towards people with food allergies or towards particular, like, you might have, let's let's face it, you might have made fun of people that, like, are gluten-free or you might have made fun of, like, uh, like vegans. <laughs> And now you're like, oh, so now you're telling me I basically have to be a vegan. And I, there's a little, there's a little something about it, though, that does feel a little karmic, like a little like, you know, a, a, re, a return, a return, okay, <laughs> karmic return. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. Okay, but we do have the umbrella card energy. Yeah, we see the key. We see the, the hourglass at the bottom. The people that are under your umbrella, though, I mean, I feel like they need you to make these changes they need you to they need you to do what you do best Taurus Gemini which is get it done get her done is what I see here okay also with the umbrella energy I do get the sense uh I do get the sense that if you are yeah I feel like that's that's the barrier that's what's that's what's, um, there's something here that is kind of like affecting, it's affecting uh, the conception is what I'm getting here. We have the three, which is also the Empress energy. Venus could also be in this sort of Taurus or Libra, but that is like pregnancy conception. There's something here, but it's, it might be, I don't know, it's related to the blood pressure. It's related to something. Somehow it's like weirdly related to the heart. I don't know. All right, here we have the, here we also have the waxing gibbous moon. So with the waxing gibbous moon, this is the one that follows right after the new moon, okay? This is 52 energy. Uh, the new moon is on the 11th. It's going to be in the sign of Aquarius. It's happening at 23 degrees and 17 minutes. Sorry, there's a siren in the background. Uh, if you have fixed sign placements, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius at 19 to 27 degrees, although we will all feel this, you will be most affected or there will be the biggest window of opportunity for you, okay? So I feel like right after this uh, new moon, this new moon may actually be the perfect time for you to try to conceive, okay? The the time between the new moon and the uh, wa waning, or the waxing, the waxing crescent moon, Actually, this one is waxing gibbous. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm like I'm all over the place when I'm like reading these <laughs> these moon phase cards. All right, this is actually the waxing gibbous. This one is right after the full moon. Okay, so the full moon will actually happen on the 27th. So after the full between the full moon and the waxing gibbous moon which is the one that follows that might be the perfect time for conception or that might be the time when you are actually getting good news about whatever is happening okay in terms of conception i also feel like for some of you maybe it's telling you that if you start this um you know if you start i feel like it's this wax <laughs> sorry it's this waxing uh waxing crescent moon if you start during this waxing crescent moon to really follow this diet or this health plan or whatever it is i feel like by the time you get to the uh waning gibbous moon you're already going to feel a difference you're already going to see results okay you're telling me like you know when am i going to see the proof that this is actually doing anything because it's a pain in my ass <laughs> okay taurus gemini well, I feel like that's when you're going to receive your proof, okay? But you got to at least commit to it starting starting 
now or starting the new moon, you have to commit to it to go at least that many days up until the um, up until the the waxing gibbous moon. Okay, and, and I feel like if you do that, you will see results. All right, it, you will be a believer. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What's going to happen if you if what will be these results or how are you going to feel about these results? Uh, tell me about these results for the waxing gibbous moon. Okay, this is, yeah, sun in, sun in Pisces energy. This is vision, all right? So whatever it is that you're trying to do in terms of conception or in terms of seeing healthier things happen with your body, I also feel like for some of you, you could be having like swelling of the feet or you could have something going on with your feet since Pisces rules the feet. I feel like that would be the first place that you see the improvement. But for some reason, I do get the sense that the reduced swelling of the feet also means there's some something reduced, reduced impact or reduced stress on the heart is what I'm getting here. And again, I just get salt. I get salt on both of these. It just looks like Morton's freaking salt to me. So you got to cut out the salt, my friend. <laughs> All right. You got to cut it out. Maybe that's what it is too. Maybe it's also the sodium content in cheese. Maybe that's also something that's not maybe that's why they're suggesting that you you cut out cheese and you're I, maybe you're the one who's saying well if i'm gonna cut out cheese i might as well effing cut out you know dairy altogether or something like that okay maybe you're being a little sulky about it i don't know but i do feel like you might need to figure out why are you so i mean it's not just being hangry it's like because you can't have these specific foods now for you i would say is there a specific memory or is there something is there something like a why is it a trigger for you, okay? Because that might lead you somewhere else uh, in a direction that you just, you weren't expecting or that you're not seeing, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What is the, um, tell me about the umbrella, please. Here we have the Mercury and Aries energy restlessness. Yeah, but I feel like it's like, yeah, there is something about, maybe it's like the umbrella of the, the umbrella is like the rules, you know? You know that if you stay under the umbrella, you won't get, you won't get drenched. But there's something outside of the umbrella that you, you know, where you, there's a situation where you have to put the umbrella aside if you want to get something else or if you want the thing that you want, okay? So in this case, it's like you feel restless, you might feel anxious. I mean, you may feel worse. You might feel like shit before you start feeling better because honestly, there could also be your body could be like almost like addicted to something. I don't feel like it's drugs. I feel like it's an additive in foods or it's like, um, it's like, you know, processed foods or sugar or something like that. And I'm not saying those things are bad. I eat those things myself, but I just kind of feel like there's something about, it's almost like your body is like, like dependent on it. It's like you, your body is like, you know, just needs enough, just needs one more hit, man. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. We have the heart. I just saw, I'm sorry, I just saw Dave Chappelle, you know, as the. <laughs> All right, um, the heart energy, the heart energy. Can we, um, clarification here? We have status. We have Jupiter in Taurus energy, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, I feel like, you know, I see the crown here, but it's like you are the crown. You are the you are the head of the household, or you're the person that your children are looking towards for, as an example. Or, I don't know. I just feel like here it's like um, don't let your pride, don't let your pride and stubbornness with this your your Taurus, you know, some of that Taurus fixed enter, uh, Earth astrological DNA. Yeah, don't let it get, don't let it get, don't let it trip you up. Okay is what I'm getting here, you know, follow the rules, follow the instructions, especially if it has to do with your health. For some of you, maybe it's not your health, it could be your finances, but there is something about your finances and um, something, I mean, maybe you could be a little, you could be kind of addicted to shopping or spending. It's like trying to understand that, you know, it could be because you're trying to impress someone or you're trying to show someone your affection your love one of your love language might be love languages might be giving gifts but it's like to learn that you don't you shouldn't have to give someone so much for them to give you their heart okay is kind of what i'm seeing here that could be a core lesson all right let's go ahead and see here uh, tell me about the tree please here we have the venus in aquarius energy we have detachment yeah i feel like 
sometimes you have a tendency to kind of like just expect your body to do what you want, okay? Uh, you can't strong arm your body, Taurus Gemini. Uh, it's one of those foes or contenders that you cannot dominate, and I feel like it pisses you off, okay? I feel like it causes you, like, it causes you grief or stress, but I mean, <laughs> I just I just feel like you have to get out of your feelings and you have to you have to you know get out of your rebellious feelings is what I'm getting and you you know you have to do what's what's smart what's right for you which is you know at least give it a chance okay so change your habits at least starting this new moon in Aquarius on the 11th start follow the plan try it out see if you don't see improvements by the um by the waxing gibbous moon and i feel like especially one of the first things you'll see though is an improvement is your feet will be in much better condition or your feet will not be as swollen all right here we have we have uh saturn in aquarius energy extra eccentricity okay yeah it's like frank sinatra you want to do it your way you know, you're, you're thinking about my way, the way, you know, four is the emperor energy, Aries energy, asserting your will, asserting your, your independence, your autonomy, one being the magician card energy, Mercury energy, that is the ruler of Gemini, as well as Virgo. But ultimately here, it's like, yeah, I feel like you want it your way, but in this case, your way, it's not a matter of a difference of opinion. This is objectively what's going to be good for you, your, your body, and also to make sure that you're around to either raise your kids, you know, or to, you know, to have children, okay, or to make it easier to have children. All right, let's go ahead and if it's possible for you, okay, what do we have at the bottom of the deck? We have Venus in Leo energy affair. That could be though, it's a lot of ego because you're in love with your own perspective. You're in love with the way that you want to do things. You're in love with having it your way. You want to be the Burger King and you might want Burger King as well, but keep a, keep a, you know, keep, keep a monitor on that heart, my friend, because you can't get the time, you know, you, <sighs> you could always regret the time that you have left, but you can't get back the time that you regret, okay? All right, thank you so much, friends. Please join me again. Gratitude to the divine, to you and all of creation.